What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to Chill with Pete, the series where we have a bit of a catch up. Uh, this is also going to be a bit of a, a little channel update, just a quick update to, to address uh, commenting on videos, my commenting on, not your commenting on my videos, my commenting on your comments. Uh, now, let's just address that first, shall we? Now, for some reason, it would seem that YouTube isn't always notifying me when you comment on my videos. So, please, all I'm asking is forgiveness if I take a few days to respond, um, because I only really get one time of the week, which is the weekend, to and that, and that's not every weekend but but i really only get like one day i can just sort of just go through and check on all my stuff on youtube make sure you know for things like that if, if anybody's messaged if i've responded to it and it really irks me when i see oh no somebody's messaged me it never told me and i wasn't aware of this and um so i may be responding you know like a week or two late sometimes and my i apologize for that i really i don't want that to be the case uh, I'm trying to keep on top of it as much as I can, okay? Um, so please just bear with me. Whether it's a, an issue with YouTube right now or it's an issue with my YouTube channel, I don't know whether there's something you can do to ensure. You know, I mean, I've got it selected so that it notifies me, but it hasn't always thus far. And that's that's it. That's really annoying. Um, it's notifying me more when peop other people are putting up videos that I'm not actually subscribed to. I'm like, I don't get that. You know, anyway, whatever. But so just letting you, letting you know, I will respond to your comments. I love reading your comments. But as I say, I don't get as much time now as I used to, to be able to do that. I mean, obviously when I've got some time off, I'll be able to, to get right back on top of it. And that's gonna be super, super cool. Anyway, that's that. Um, so on to other news. I know I've done a, I've done a recent uh, chill with Pete, and that was fine. Like kind of, I don't set out to do them weekly. Uh, they have been weekly uh, of late. I'm just gonna have a sip of water because I'm very, very dry. So excuse me a moment. Bottled at Elmer Spring, hey? Ah, that's better. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanted to do one because some other things have happened lately. As you know, our daughter took and passed her driving test. She's actually bought herself a car. We went down to Vosper's today. Um, we had an appointment all booked in to, to look for, go through cars, see what she wanted. She took one out for a test drive and she's bought herself a lovely little Fiat 500. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, not brand new, but it's, fa it's fairly new. So good, well done her. I'm like, do you know when I first passed my test, I had a you know, rust bucket knacker of a car. <laughs> um, times have changed and for the better. Uh, so I feel I feel better, you know, knowing that she's driving a car which is just a, few, just a couple of years old, really. And it's safer, you know, and we're not too worried about it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just coming up for its first MOT. So, you know, we're, we're going to get it all done and um, make sure she's driving around nice and safe. And it's the car, she wanted a Fiat 500. She had her heart set on it. But I said, for goodness sake, take one for a test drive first because you you might love the look of it, but you might hate the way it drives. And then that'll be disappointing if you buy a car and then you get, you get to pick it up and drive it. And you're like, mm, actually, I'm not too keen on the way this drives. But she took it for a test drive. We sat with her, I, I said, do you want us, me, or anyone with you? She's like, yes, yes, please. Because uh, I didn't want to put her under pressure. But she drove it fine. Um, she loved it, which is good. And, you know, it sold her on it. You know, yes, I want one. So, that's all good. Uh, Hobby-wise, I'm trying this. Uh, it is actually a, d a bit different angle from what I usually do, because normally I'm, I'm further back, like almost touching the shelves behind me. Or the racks behind me. I think I like this this video angle uh, for now. I might stick with this for a bit. And I've, I've moved my this is my painting snippet area, believe it or not. So when I'm doing painting snippets, that's what's behind me. Um, you know, like when I do my chill with pizza and the other catch up things, I'm also thinking of transferring my training area. Training area. That sounds weird. 
um, tutorial area to here as well because it's such I've got um, I've got this imperial fist on the go filming him <laughs> got another camera there so that is a great camera angle for tutorials I think I've I think I've found a, the tutorial angle I like now I think I have so yeah I think I think this is the one I think this is the one <laughs> I think I might start doing some painting snippets here like this as well, because this is a really good camera angle. I like it. Why didn't I find it before? I don't know. Right. What other news can I impart upon you then? Um, 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 I'm trying to think. Something was going on yesterday. What was going on yesterday? Lots of cleaning going on in the house. Um, oh, we bought this um, steam mop, which turned out to be a pile of pants. It wasn't working properly, so we're send, sending it back if we get any replacement, which is a bit disappointing. Because uh, we were hoping that would sort of save us getting down on our hands and knees to clean the floor. <sighs> not good, not good. I, the other day, or yesterday, might have been the other day, the day before, no, yesterday was Friday. Uh, yeah, I think it was Friday. I started getting some paint on my Imperial Knights. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my um, my chill with Pete. And I started getting some paint on my Imperial Knight, the one that's representing Rufus over there. So that's a slow process, but that's coming on. And it's really, really good. And I'm really, really chuffed to be able to do that because it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. Really is. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. My Imperial Fist, which are on the other end of the studio right now, just lifted up the train and the station and moved down there, are over there. I've still got some other ones to do for um, the set, the Indomitus box set. And what a great set that is, by the way. Talking of box sets, I'm thinking of picking up a, uh, a bolt action, another bolt action box set, but I'm, I'm refraining from doing so until I get this Band of Brothers one painted up first because I just wanted to do that. I'm I'm, I'm starting to collect the dice now. I've, I've bought a, a spare set of German dice for the Germans. And, uh, I'm, or was it the Americans? One of the two that came with the sack. I, I don't know which colours. I suppose it doesn't matter as long as you know who's what colour. You know, it makes sense to me to have Germans as grey dice and say Americans as green dice, for instance, and perhaps, I don't know, English, like a tan colour, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter, really doesn't matter. Oh, I've got my, um, which I need to put away, my bolt action terrain, my little MDF house, which I showed you on another video. That's super cool, awesome. Well, let me just close that camcorder down. There we go. That's super cool uh, because I've got a little bit of a, a bit of terrain thing going on. And when I set up the Band of Brothers to, to start practically going through the rules, which I would have gone through with the Bolt Action Reloaded videos on, under the Bolt Action Maneuvers playlist, um, hopefully I'll have a little bit more of an understanding of it and then we can learn together practically as well. So it's not just going to be about me reading out the rules to you. So that's super cool as well. My other Imperial Knights still need work doing. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just all, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Um, as for morale playing, that's just something that's, that's on, ongoing, you know. It's a, it's not something I have time for right now to role play, because you need, you need time. Well, you're up. See, I need a, a, an area like this. A bit, maybe I'll clear the other... Um, I, in fact, no, I'd clear this whole desk. This whole bench. Have the cameras, obviously, and the light. So I could have, you know, some mats set up, a little bit of terrain. Depending on what the scene is, I need space to put my books, my notes, and my other gaming tools around me. So I've got everything I need, and I'm like, right, let's go, let's play. But you really need, you know, you could do it like a week off or something like that um, in order to do that. And I'm fine. I'm just taking my time, you know, meandering along. Um, you know, it's all cool. You know, I'm fine with it. 
I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just, the more time goes by, the more uh, I'm just accumulating brilliant, such brilliant tools for the role playing these days. I've managed to film a couple of role playing uh, videos today, which was something I really wanted to get done. Uh, not the playing of the game, but uh, talking about the tools and showing the, t the tools I, I'm, I've used gives me a chance to kind of evangelize on what tools I like best, what I recommend. And, you know, of course, it's just subjective. It's just my view on what I love, <laughs> what works for me. It might not work for you. You might not like it, you know, but, um, you know, I just want to say, you know, oh, this, this and this is really, really good. Um, or... I haven't come across anything yet, but I might come across something which is like, oh, I didn't find this very helpful. I, I struggled to use this. I found it too complex or whatever it might be. And then I could impart that knowledge to you as well. So that's cool. Got a little collection of uh, rattle cans here. We'll <laughs> start a little a bit like, um, a bit like a terrain workshop here. Uh, all different rattle cans I've got going on. Um, but yeah. I I figured I'd get some lead belcher ones to, to do the Imperial Knights because I'm going to have more in the future. I've got another one to build yet as well. I found that undercoating a, a big model like an Imperial Knight, which has a lot of metal areas in lead belcher to start with, is very, very helpful, very, very useful. Uh, because there you can put other uh, metallic over the lead belcher and the other colours so far, even the whites, seem to be adhering quite well to it. So I'm pleased about that. I figured I'd just use up what I've got here for, a, well, I would say, oh, before we move to season, but that's going to be a long time away. Not like loads of time, but... You know, I want to get things used up before we do go. Otherwise, it means I'd have to, you know, find some way of uh, storing it and transporting it all. And I've got so much in the way of paint to transfer. Luckily, the majority of my little handheld pots go in my rainbow drawer. I could do with another rainbow drawer set for the other extra bits and bobs. But by and large, we're okay. We're doing good. Um, I think I will have to label my um really useful boxes i've got oh, you can't see this but i've got like one two i see 18 really useful boxes just over there there's one under there 19 and another one 20 so there's 20 really useful boxes in mini war zone right now there's another one back at the house which i'm gonna find a use for i think if nobody else does yeah so Really useful boxes is the way forward, I think. Yeah. All good. All right, so um, what can I say? Um, what else can I say? Bank holiday weekend, which is where I'm filming this. It's a Saturday, so I've got one more day off tomorrow. Um, I'm And on Monday, when I'm back to work, I believe that day... I'm scheduled to be taking a a certain health and safety meeting to run for a couple of teams. So I'm a little bit nervous slash excited about that because I haven't done that yet. Um, I've only ever done a, a daily meeting for the one team uh, that I work with. And um, yeah, so this is going to be a bigger audience. So... Yeah, I, feel, I almost feel like a, a, a comedian that's scared to get hecklers, you know, because, you know, people do have disgruntlements with, with a job, don't they? And, and whoever's taking a meeting, they're going to aim them at you, aren't they? So, so I've got to be prepared for that. And I'm still learning the role. It's going to still take me a while to learn myself, my colleague, and I'm going on site this next week as well. So I've got a little bit of trepidation about that because I just think, well, It'd be nice to see the area. I'm looking forward to that. I uh, where 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 it's all involved. Cause I'm a, what they call flexible home worker. Um, you know, I've got to pick up some security passes and and things that we've got to do that in order to progress. Um, but yeah, by and large, the majority of the day 
will be taken up with other stuff and it won't will be behind a little bit because actually sitting down with your computer boom away you go that's where you get your work done all this having to find somewhere to you book you got to book go in the office book the desk set up make sure it all works get online it's not easy and um and then later on another reason why we're going in we've got this other big meeting thing going on with loads of loads of us and we're all expected to attend so it's all happening on wednesday so wish me luck for that i'll be glad to get back to the safety bubble of my house um after so that's good um but our daughter bless her heart she's um she sorted out her insurance while she's sorting out her insurance for her car um, they're getting it all ready for her for Friday, so she's picking up the car Friday. She's, they, had, they had the car there, uh, so she's seen the actual car she's buying. Took some pictures of it, um, and I know I know down there they do a great job at valeting a car. They do a phenomenal job. Um, so that's going to be absolutely spanking when they get it ready for her to pick up. That's just so exciting. I'm excited for her. I really am. It reminds me of like when I first passed my test and I went to get my knacker of a car, my first car. But she's getting a nice, really fairly new car, and it's like really nice, you know, that's awesome, really. And it just, it's just another stage of her growing up, isn't it? And moving on, and uh, the next stage, I suppose, will be her moving out of home and getting a, setting up her own home somewhere and you know, getting her own life on the go. And uh, yeah, so. Life is uh, ticking on, you know, it's good. Life is changing for the better, I think. Um, you know, it's always sad when your kids leave home. No, I know the jokes, oh, I'm glad to get rid of them and all that, but it is kind of sad, and I will, I will miss her when she goes, but um, got a car now, so we've all got cars, so there's no excuse not to see each other quite often, and that's good. Plus all the other amazing ways of communicating we have with technology these days and um yeah i can feel myself rambling i had a moment of fatigue earlier today after coming back from getting the car or sorting out the car um for our daughter um it's just that sort of thing i find quite draining and that's another worry i have about going on the site on wednesday that it the day will drain me so I don't want to put it out there that Thursday I'll be suffering with fatigue, but it ain't going to shock me if, if I do. Um, yeah, it just, it, um, I hope it, I hope it doesn't. I really do. Um, but you know, that's the nature of the condition I have, unfortunately. But, um, I'm, I want to make it a mission of mine not to, not to kind of um, throw it around in people's faces um, in where I work. But um, my goal, I have a goal to raise awareness for unseen conditions. Um, and I've joined a network. They have different networks where I work. And the one I've joined is called New the Neurodiversity Network. And it's all about um, neurodiverse conditions which people have. Like dyslexia, you know, um, dyspraxia, you know, all these different hidden things that nobody knows, you know, autism, MS, you know, it's so just to raise awareness, not telling people about the conditions per se, but more about, look, there's a place you can go if you need help, whether you are the employee with the condition or you are a manager of someone in your team that has one of these and you need to know a bit more about it in order to help manage you know the the employee wh whatever it may be and there's all sorts of resources to help them there and i think it's just fantastic but i'd like to do my bit to help raise awareness for that so naturally i jumped at the chance i've joined i joined the network and um well we'll see how we go with it after when after monday we'll i'll, I'll know i'll get a little bit of a feel for how it's received I suppose um, yeah because you know today you've got the um, all the whole diversity thing going on 
um, stuff like gender diversity and all that other stuff. Uh, these are all physical things. And it, the thing with that is it's all about let's raise awareness before you make a mistake, before you um, say the wrong thing or upset anybody with that. But the thing is with the hidden stuff, that doesn't happen until after the fact. And then it'd be like, oh, I didn't know you had um, whatever condition, you know, I didn't realise you you suffered with dyslexia. I'm sorry, the damage could already be done by then. You know, you could have hurt someone's feelings in a bad way. So it's all about raising awareness. Um, and that's that's a, a, a small passion of mine in the employment um, sector there. And fortunately, I am now in a role that enables me the opportunity to do a little bit of that. And um, yeah, so that's good. I think that's a good thing. Let's get back to the hobby though. Um, I've ordered myself a set of paints for German armor. Although in the box set, they, they came with this half track, which I started painting up, but I'm, I'm gonna hold off finishing it off until I get the um, paints that come in the set and I'm holding off starting to paint the stug that I've got until I get that as well I want a couple more of these guys because I think they're brilliant and uh, I just think that would be awesome um, but I'd, li I'd like to paint them I don't want my bolt action game painting to be mega realistic that's not what it's about for me it's about creating a game. It's a bit, I think to me, Bolt Action is a World War II game that's a little bit more boring on the theatric um, dynamics of, of a war game. And what I mean by that, it's more, for me, it's more about playing a game rather than uh, simulating a real life event. If that make, does that make sense? So for me, it's about playing a game based on real past history, historic events. Um, and I, I'm sure it is for a lot of people, but, but I know there are games out there that are more, far more, have far more realism um, embedded into their game mechanics. Um, but for this, it's more about, I just want to roll the dice, have some fun, and just move some guys around on a tabletop. You know, what's wrong with that? It's good, right? How long have I been rambling on here? Oh my goodness, 23 minutes. I think that's more than enough for you guys. So yeah, the main thing, back, going back to the start of this video, apologies for the comments. Uh, if I'm late to getting back to you, I will get back to you at some point. <laughs> as soon as I read your comment, I will respond, okay? As soon as I see it, it just means I go. I have to go through, click on all my videos that I've made, you know, in, in a certain time frame. Um, that said, I've gone back in the past and looked at things, Ugh. That was, and I clicked on something, oh my goodness, a year ago somebody commented on a video and I didn't respond. I was never told about it, but I will reply. You know, it's just, it irks me. But um, yeah, so anyway, I think I've had too much caffeine today. That's why I'm blah, 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 you know. But uh, great to see you guys again. I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but um, might upload it tomorrow. I don't know. You get a few more videos because it's bank holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i got loads in the bag ready to go so thanks ever so much for watching guys if you've made it this far my hat is off to you thank you thank you for all your kind words you know your support it means so much to me it lifts me so much times when there are because there are times in life you think should i bother with doing filming something for YouTube. I just don't know if I'm gonna be bothered. I, I, I just, I wanna, I just wanna, I'll just paint. But when I read, and then I'll read a comment on a video, I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna make some videos now, because someone actually took the time to watch a video and uh, respond to it. So, lifts me up, makes me feel good. And I think that's what it, a lot of it's about, isn't it, feeling good. I know YouTube is a kind of considered a separate part of the hobby uh, and other people consider it a part of the hobby encompassing the whole. Doesn't matter at the end of the day. Why label, hey? But yeah, thanks for your support. Please like the video if you like it. Thumbs down it if you don't like it. But do one or the other. That would be, that'd be greatly appreciated. 
and share it if you'd like to. Share it out on Twitter, that would be awesome. I like it when videos get shared on Twitter. I try, I try to share mine on Twitter, because, um, you know, I've got a few followers on Twitter. Um, sometimes that can help bolster the views. If you've got Facebook, even better. I don't have Facebook, so if you could share it on there, that'd be amazing. And if you want to look at some exclusive videos, and I'm going to be working on some more exclusive, exclusive videos for my patrons, uh, check out Patreon and see, have a look at the different levels, tiers you can go. If there's anything there that takes your fancy, if not, it's fine. But, um, just have a look though. Yeah, I, I would really appreciate that. And in the future, um, you know, within the next 12 months, I'm hoping to be able to get some merchandise up and running. Not that I'm aiming to take over the world with that, but because I like the idea of that. And I'd like to collect my own merchandise from other people people and a lot of people are doing merchandise now but mugs or t-shirts or hats or whatever i just think that's really cool really cool and um yeah anyway enough of the jibber jabber see you on another video guys and bye for now bye bye